All right, come on in. Hit the like button. Think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So, this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2024 thriller film that is an independent film, by the way. It's called Red Right Hand, starring Orlando Bloom. Now, here's the plot. Cash, in, Cash, which is the character, is trying to live a quiet, honest life in a small... Appalachian town when a vicious crime boss forces him back into her services. He soon learns he's capable of anything, even killing to protect his family and his home. Now here is the cast. Now, I like Orlando Bloom a lot, and he did a great job in this, in my opinion. However, I had a little issues with tr trying to understand some parts of his dialogue because of the way he moved his lips to form the accent that he had. Uh, it kind of came off mumbling a little bit here and there, but yeah, it, it wasn't that big of a deal, to be honest. He did do an annoying Hollywood trope a couple of times in the beginning, trying to be a badass by putting either a lollipop or a toothpick in his mouth while talking. Uh, and honestly, it kind of comes off cheesy. And it it's comes off cheesy because it's kind of like that old, 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 old Hollywood trope. Like one of the oldest Hollywood tropes were... It, usually with gangster films, you get the guy, the guy that's talking with a certain accent, uh, and he is uh, has a toothpick in his mouth. I think it's at this point, it's pretty not necessarily. It's pretty cheesy, like a lot of stuff that used to be in the older films, like forties, fifties, sixties, and seventies. You know, um, it's just it's just kind of stupid. But he only did that a couple times. Now, but overall, I really liked this perform his performance and character. The story felt like the perfect length with a slow but great buildup included. Pretty solid and great standard character writing, in my opinion. Now, what actually surprised me was the performance by actress Andy McDonald, very imitated and uh, convincing portrayal of a crime criminal boss. And I saw her and I was thinking... Yeah, this film's going to be trash. Um, I, I at least I hope it's not. But and it's just it's going to be all because of her performance. Because for some reason I was thinking she was the lady that was on um, the Seinfeld um, thing, or maybe she was. I don't know. I, I I did a little quick search of what she's been in, and I've seen her a couple of modern name films. But and she's labeled as a comedian, so it might be her, but I don't know. But here is my right now come back my thought thoughts. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to like this, like I said, but I did go I did really really pretty much like it. Even though it's a standard run of the mill story uh line, you know, uh your typical revenge, drugs gangster type of thing, uh, Old South, you know, all that stuff, you know, and it's, it's, it's definitely been overused, but for me, from the entertainment point of view, it was a good, uh, a watch, it was a good story for that type of thing, um, was it something, again, was it phenomenal, was it award-winning, no, but not everything needs to be award-winning, it just needs to be a good writing, entertainment, no matter if it's standard or or, you know, big old blockbuster type of thing, uh, writing. I mean, because technically more blockbusters, in my experience from doing this, is has been come on more not the best of writing. And it, it they usually rely on, on CGI effect, the action, you know, that type of stuff. Um, and it just, the writing is not that necessarily always that good. More and more. Where independence films, a lot of them, yeah, there's bad ones, but a lot of them that I've seen that are more higher budget that have star power in them, um, or slightly star power, tend to be really good. Uh, Denmark, Scandinavia, Sweden, uh, they tend to be really good. Now, if you want a action flick with a slightly interesting story, it's usually sci-fi or zombie or horror. 
it's usually the Asian countries that tend to do them. Bollywood is technically Asian country and they can be a hit or miss for me, so they're an exception. But um, I think when it comes to American Hollywood, it's 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 a little bit more questionable down these these days, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not saying there's no they're all bad, but you know, it's just like they rely on reusing stuff and especially especially relying on superhero stuff which i like superhero stuff but the problem is is that it's gotten so used that it's coming off a bit lazy you know um that's what they tend to do with the, the with american hollywood in these days so but you know whatever um so what are your guys thoughts leave them down in the com your comments down below Remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Till the next time. Remember, I love you. Skull.